live on YouTube. Now we're live on Facebook. Okay, guys. Hey, we are live. Uh, I'm doing a get, what is it called? Unready. Unready. Get unready with me. Um, we are live streaming on YouTube and Facebook. So you guys have to excuse if the lighting is in and out because I don't think we can lock the lighting when we do a live stream. So we are we were in a little bit of a time crunch today. So we kind of just grabbed everything and threw it on our desk. So we're going to get unready together. What I have here right in front of us is the Tupperware <laughs> uh, used for my sink to wash my face. So we're going to wash our face. I'm going to be using this Lumi Spa. If you guys don't know about this sucker, I just kind of turn it on real quick. Maybe you can see. Can they see that? Mm -hmm. You guys can see. So it has one that rotates one way and the other that rotates the other way. And it kind of just really gets into the skin and cleans it really, really well. So let's go ahead and just kind of dive in. And we are also uh, doing micro needling if I can find it in my mess okay so we are doing the derma roller today and you guys saw the video that I uploaded about this one or about one of them this one is a little bit bigger so I was doing the 0 0.25 millimeters and this is 0 0.3 so it's a little bit more intense a little bit larger of a needle okay I need soap I don't think I got do I have any <laughs> Any cleansers, Kay? Do you see anything to wash my face? You forgot oh. <laughs> the most important part. I think I forgot the most important part, and that would be the soap. So, um, can you grab it? Where? <laughs> when you open the door. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys, we're a little unprepared. <laughs> it's the purple one to the left. Yeah. Perfect. That's what I... We're just like, oh my gosh, it's almost six o'clock. We gotta get it. We gotta do our live stream. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive Makeup Removing Gel Cleanser. It's one of my holy grails. So I'm just gonna dip my fingers in the water. And you know what? One of you guys told me the best way to keep water from running down your arms is to put two scrunchies on your wrist, which that's really smart if you think about it. Put two cotton scrunchies and then you won't have this mess. But don't the scrunchies get wet? Yeah, but then you just hang them out to get dried, you know? And you don't have like a mess of all this water getting all over your clothes <laughs> or on that? my desk. It's weird, it smells. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was ingenious. I was like, yes, you couldn't <laughs> do that. Obviously, I did not do that today. You forgot your scrunchie, okay? <laughs> so I'm taking three pumps on my Lumi Spa, and what I do is I just kind of massage it like this, and then, I get a lather or kind of just spread out the product and then we will start turning on this machine and scrubbing away. So that's what I do. And then I go like this. Look at my eyeball. Just can you see my eyeball like wiggling? <laughs> yeah. So it times it guys. Like this sucker does like so many seconds per area. So you just like really, really slowly. And then you go fast, it will stop working. And this is going to remove all of my makeup. I also do it on the lips. You have to get every little bit of junk off your face. You see, that tells you to go to the next area. You have to get every little bit of junk off your face before you do derma uh, rolling. Because you're going to be poking like little holes into your skin. And you don't want that to... You don't want to be putting junk, how should I say, you don't want to push junk, dirt, or anything into your skin. If I'm making sense, I'm not making no sense today. It your skin sense. just has to be clean before you punch a bunch of holes in it. Okay, next area. Do so, you break out if your skin's dirty and then oh, you drum totally. roll? Really? It's almost like, well, think about it. It's like if you had dirt on your skin and then you poked a hole. Mm -hmm. You're almost like poking that dirt right into your skin. Yeah. So your skin has to be like super, super clean. That's why we clean it super well. And then we uh, get a toner and tone it. So I'm going to do my upper eyelids like this. And this machine kind of brings that blood flow up. And it helps produce more. Oh, you see how I did that? Because it, it was said I was going too fast. 
it helps reduce more blood flow to the skin, which we all want that. Mm. It actually feels like soap is going into my eye. And then I always do the laugh lines right here. I focus it a lot on the laugh lines. I don't know if anybody can relate to the laugh lines. Okay, where's my towel? Where's the little one? Unprepared. Unprepared, yeah. Okay, so there it is. It's all dirty. Where's my little? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to... <laughs> Look, this was an old towel. <laughs> It had a hole in it, so I just repurpose it. Okay. I'm going to wipe it off like this. But I need to wipe my eye because I feel like there's soap in it or something. Oh, my. I didn't even take off my lashes. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with me today? I'm so backwards. <laughs> Why is blood flow good for your skin? Because let's just say, like, you have... This is an example. So like you have cellulite on the back of your legs or on any part of your body. Mm -hmm. It kind of brings the blood flow up to the top layer of the skin, helping produce uh, like to smooth that skin out. So when I say it helps when you when you have oh, why am I so tongue tied today? <laughs> blood flow to your to your face. It's almost like helping plump the skin and helping promote collagen by giving just more blood flow. Okay, I can't see, so. I'm just wiping my face down. And I am gonna be taking a makeup removing cloth as well to get my eye makeup off because I have a waterproof liner on. Anyways, in other countries, guys, like honestly, no joke. They kinda slap their skin. Like, when they're putting creams on and stuff, they kind of do this. I don't know if you guys know that or have ever seen it. And that's the same thing that this machine's doing. Okay. So, I probably look like a crazy mess. Oops. Uh, yeah, I do. So, I'm going to take a makeup removing cloth and take off my eye makeup. What kind of mask? Should we do that venom mask? Yeah, the, the bee venom. The bee venom we today. We should. Let's see how that feels. I don't know if I should, but if I do the derma rolling oh. and then I put venom on top of that, I don't think that would feel good. <laughs> <laughs> I might be like, oh! <laughs> okay. So, we're just removing the waterproof mascara. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe my face down one more time, make sure we don't have anything on there with the toner afterwards. I look so different without makeup. <laughs> Not really. Really? <laughs> what eyeliner did you use? I used, um, today. I did the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. But if you guys want to know, my holy grail, a new holy grail of eyeliners would be the Milani Stay Put Matte 17 Hour Wear. Sucker is amazing. Has a very soft felt tip. Okay, so let me just... So guys, if you guys don't know, a lot of times when you use these makeup removing... AAVV says San Francisco says hello and that Garnier Skin Sleek and Shine trick really works because I did it last night. Yay, San Francisco Ooh, girl. Yay, San Francisco girl. I am so... So glad you tried that trick. I'm telling you, your hair is going to be like beautiful if you continue to use that healthy. Like it just, it just like tames all the, you have moisture in the air over there, unlike Vegas. Um, it just makes it nice and sleek, healthy. And it's just amazing. I'm gl so glad you tried that trick. I tell everybody that trick. So guys, when you use a makeup removing cloth, it's always ideal to use it. I mean, we're talking about ideal, right? A lot of times I use that at night when I'm lazy. But it's always ideal to use like a wet washcloth or something and kind of wipe it off, wipe it down even more just to make sure that you get everything off. Okay, so, 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 so. Should we try a firming, anti-aging, pore refining toner? I don't know. 
Let's see, does this have alcohol? No, I'm just gonna go with the one that I need. Okay, we're gonna go with the Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula. Alcohol-free toner, coconut water. Water! <laughs> Are you thirsty? Do you want some coconut water? <laughs> okay. Wow, look at, the water's already cloudy. That doesn't look too cloudy, but it's cloudy, and that's just... Makeup. From, yeah, the little towel, and that's not even... Look at how dirty that is. That's disgusting. Okay, so if you guys don't know a toner, smell that. A toner, right? Oh, that smells so good. It does smell good. A toner kind of just helps remove any excess, helps like, well, they say tighten the pores, but I think we all know that pores can't be tightened. So look at that. Can you see that? Or does it look like white on camera? White. Okay, it's not white, <laughs> but there is excess makeup and stuff still on my skin. After washing it, well, actually, you know, I'm surprised because this usually takes everything off. Maybe that's for my eye makeup. I don't know, but there is some that are coming off. Okay. This toner is alcohol free. It smells like, what did you, it smells like coconut. Yeah. Okay. So we toned, right? Put that over there. Ugh, I'm gonna cry. So my uh, derma roller has been sitting in alcohol for a few minutes. It's dry now, and we're going to roll. So let me go ahead and get my mirror ready. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one, two, three, right. We're just gonna go like this. So this is how you're supposed to properly derma roll. And yes, maybe you won't feel it at first, but later you're gonna feel like you have a really bad sunburn. So you see how I'm just doing that? And then what you're supposed to do is go same thing, but horizontal. So you do vertical, you do horizontal, but you have to do like one line at a time. You can't just be like, mm -hmm. you know, uh, at least that's the method that I was taught. And then you start making an X. So you make this side of the X and then you make this side the X. So horizontal, vertical, then diagonal. Now, I don't know if you guys watched the video, but my eyebrows started growing back right here because of this, because I will go right here and do my eyebrow. And it has to stay within straight lines. So I can't be curving with the eyebrow, just a straight line and then up against it, and then diagonal. And this actually honestly made my hair grow back. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing here, straight line, and then up, up. And I know you're like, why would you be running, like, why would you be putting thousands of little holes in your skin? Because what, what happens when you cut yourself? You cut yourself, collagen or the scar heals and that skin is baby fine it's kind of like what this is doing is punching a bunch of little holes and that skin is going to fill in so it's always worse before it's better in my in my uh, experience so my skin looks like a little jacked up for a little while and then it gets better and then it looks softer and softer and it actually got rid of a lot of my um a lot of my areas that had more severe wrinkles so one two three one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I think I'm a little scatterbrained today. <laughs> like I forgot my lashes to take those off. And Your cleanser. Yeah, my cleanser. So, mm, this is super sensitive. You can always do your lip and above your lip, but this is super, super sensitive. I try to work on these lines right here because this is where, these are compression wrinkles right here. The lines a lot, a lot of people get right here. A lot of times, not all the time, but a lot of times it's from this. It's from sleeping like this on the side and it kind of makes that fold. So I try to work it right there. And I put my tongue behind, make it hard. And then I move my tongue up. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> mm. Working on those lines. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Is it hurting? Mm hmm It's like, it feels honestly like you're scratching your skin. Mm -hmm. Um, but like this, this, even though it's not that big of a difference in the needle size. Mm -hmm. Where's my other one? Mm. I think I left it over in the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> Unorganized today. So I have another one uh, that is made by a Gin Amber Beauty. Hers is a point twenty-five. Um, that doesn't hurt as much as this one. The Gin Amber one that I tried, absolutely amazing. Like, it just seemed like I used the one that is a uh, needle to help the serum absorb more into your face. And that that's the God honest truth. Like, you use her point twenty-five millimeter one, run it on the face a few times, put your moisturizer on, and it's just like... It just like soaks it up. And that's kind of what we want. Mm-hmm. What the heck is that? I don't know. And then. Okay. I think. And then I do. I don't really know if you're supposed to go under your eyes like this. But I, I do. So I try. Just don't poke your eye. And then sideways. And my wrinkles I get right here on my nose. I think because I squint so much. I don't know. So. Has it helped get rid of fine lines? Very much so. Like, it, it was amazing. So I did this for a few weeks. I think uh, four or five weeks to be exact. And there's a huge difference. Especially in the, like I have a strawberry right here. Can you see the vein? You, I know they probably can't see, but I have a, put a red vein on the side of my nose. Mm -hmm. And when I start working it on my nose, I do this. I'm pushing it in there. It helped get rid of that discoloration or that vein a lot. Okay. <clears throat> so we're done rolling. That's it. It didn't seem like much, did it? Now, let's put a mask on. Let's see what mask. I don't think we're going to do the bee venom. <laughs> I think I would be in a lot of discomfort. You want to try the freezing mask? Freezing mask. It's an instant to Ooh, toner. A toner is going to have alcohol. Mm, no, actually, this one says, excuse me, guys, I have the hiccups. Water, glycerin, aloe vera gel, leaf. Yeah, so maybe not... We could try this one. Okay, guys, this is by Sephora, the freezing mask. So I would actually think just the name is going to be very soothing on my skin because when you derma roll, you, um, your skin feels like you have a bad sunburn and it can be just uncomfortable or feel like it's a little bit on fire. On fire. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, that's cool. Lots of liquid. Okay. It feels, I hope it's not a paper. I don't like paper ones. Ooh, it's actually really cool. Look at that. So I feel like this is similar to a Korean skincare mask. Look at how much liquid. That's a lot of liquid. Let me just see if it will go on like this. I'm going to put the plastic on like this. And then take it off like this. Mm. And then push it down. Am I in camera, Kay? Or am I out of camera? You're in camera. This is a very delicate mask. It's like super thin. Looks very jelly like. It is like jelly like. It actually, ooh, it feels good. Is it cold? It feels refreshing. But it's not cold. You would think it's cold. It's like falling off of me. <laughs> like, there we go. It's a small mask, though. Look at that. A lot of masks actually come out further, and this one's not as. Look at that. Like, I think it's small. Mm. 
I can already feel my skin after that derma rolling, like, ugh, getting the, but look, this is kind of cool. It's like, you want to feel me? <laughs> sure. Oh, that feels cool. Like a rubber, right? Yeah. Okay. Motherfucker. In your eye? Oh, I think so. What is wrong with me today? <laughs> uh. AAVV says, quite attractive like Hannibal Lecter. Right. What are we having for dinner, Charlize? <laughs> or, what, I think that was her name. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, so this actually feels really good but look it looks like it's a net so if i get close to you guys look at my nose amanda says do you use that every day to take to take it off every day do i use this every day no this is the first time me using this ever like i've never tried this mask and just so you guys know i actually reuse the mask i know a lot of people think raquel on um facebook says clarice Gladys, that's right. Hello, Gladys. <laughs> <laughs> but I reuse masks. I know a lot of times they advertise it as a one use. I stick it right back in the paper, right back in the package, and let it absorb any extra liquid that they have in the package, and then reuse it. Because I'm not paying $5 for a mask to use it once. I mean, maybe if I was all bougie and had all this money, I would, <laughs> right? But... Okay, so, you know what? This is actually, I think, as it's drying, so I think it is a like a, a net. So if you look at my nose, can you see the net? Mm -hmm. The end of it? And then the texture of it as it's drying, it's like a net. Like they put a rubber over a net. So this feels really, really good. Let's go ahead and rinse this sucker off in the water and then uh, do our lips while this is doing its job. So I'm just gonna clean this sucker off. And we're gonna massage all of the gunk off of our lips because I really didn't do it on my lips as much. This is fantastic for the lips, by the way, guys. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna wet the lips. And we're going to let Kaylin talk to you guys while I do my lips. My mom's watching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I don't think she's ever seen one of our live streams. Really? Mm -hmm. I've asked her about it. She never says anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Best friend doesn't even watch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Has a taste. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. My mom says, hi, Kaylina. Mm. Tell her, hola. <laughs> you know what? I shouldn't have done that because I got soap all over the mask. Yay. And on my teeth. <laughs> okay. So I want to show you guys what Hannibal Lecter. AAVV says, what was the biggest benefit from derm derma rolling? That it got rid of my fine lines and wrinkles. It got rid of, it took, reduced my strawberry on the side of my nose tremendously. But, um, yeah, I mean, like, the fine line and wrinkles, it was, it was impressive. And I show before and afters in the uh, video that I just did. I want to show you guys real quick these beauties that I'm going to be trying on tomorrow. Can you see them on camera, Kay? Yeah. Can you see the detail of them? Mm-hmm. Very pretty. So, I'm going to be doing a wear test on these new Masterpiece nails to have all these rhinestones, and they're just gorgeous. I'm going to be doing a wear test. Karen bought a set, bought a set, and I bought this set. AAVV said, so did it work for acne scars? I don't have any acne scars, so, but I would imagine it really does because the wrinkles, it helped reduce my wrinkles mm -hmm. a lot within a month of using it constantly. Like I would use it and then I would skip a day and then I would use it and skip two days. I mean, tremendously. And that's only mm -hmm. one month. So anyways, guys, so Karen is testing these out. She has the the pointy ones. I don't know what they're called, the stilettos. I don't know. But these are the masterpiece, one of a kind, uh, look-see nails, Manny. 
and these are amazing. They're beautiful. This would cost you at least $75 minimum at the store. Okay, you know what? Now it's feeling cold. Mom says stilettos. Stilettos. So she has the, the stilettos, the really pointy ones, and I have the ones that cut off. Coffins. The coffins. There you go. My bad. <laughs> and we're going to actually put those uh, to the test. So Karen has... She's a stay-at-home mom, five kids, you know. AAVV says, how do you pick up cha change with long fingernails? <laughs> <laughs> you slide it off the countertop. <laughs> and you just slide it. Or you take a credit card and you go oh like that and you pick it up. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to take this off now because we are live streaming for an hour today. So you see all the liquid on this. And I'm going to place it right back on here. Let's see here. How am I gonna do this? <laughs> How am I gonna do this? Maybe I should just do this. Let's see if it will go back on. Let's see if I can get it to go back on like this. And then remove. And then, let's see. Come off, mouse, come off. <laughs> Wah, bam. <laughs> wow, that was a perfect. And then I'm gonna take this part Put it on top of the mask. We're gonna fold this sucker up. Look at that, that was perfect. And we're gonna fold it back up like it was. Look at how it went right back down on the plastic. And since this has a lot, a lot of liquid left in it, yeah, we got lots of liquid. We're going right back in here and we're reusing this another day. Not recommended by the people who make it, but I don't care. Kind of push the liquid back up in there and we are good. Okay, so we're gonna massage the rest into the skin. And you're right at the very end of the mask, it starts mm -hmm. feeling really cold. Oh, that's cool. But when you put it on, it doesn't feel cold. Mm -hmm. Okay, so massage all of that liquid into the skin. Oh. On the back of the hands. And now we're gonna dive into some moisturizers. What are we gonna try, Kay? Should we try? Yeah, your gold. Should we try the 24 karat gold foil priced at $100? I think that's what I think that's how much it was. Yeah, I think like we freaked 180. out. Like 180? I think it was. It was 180. 180. Something. It was expensive, okay? Right? 24 karat. This sucker better have real 24 karat for that <laughs> price. Okay, so I'm going to open it up and I'm going to let Kay read the side. AAVV says you do this regimen every night. Every Thursday when you tune in. <laughs> so Kayla's going to read the side of that package for you guys while I show you what it looks like. Okay, so it says, The 24K Gold Foil Moisturizing Cream helps dry areas disappear without leaving behind a greasy residue. Its unique formula helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, firms, tightens, and traps in moisture. Wow. Okay, can we see that on camera? Like... The little gold chunks. Can you see the gold chunks through it? Karen says beautifully packaged. Gorgeously packaged. I agree. So check this out, guys. Isn't that, isn't that freaky? Look at that. You know how some moisturizers say, oh, this is a gel. Karen says gold flakes in it. Yes. Real. Are they? Were they real gold? Did it say? It did not. It did not. These better be real gold. But look at this. This is truly like slime. Look at that. Achoo! Oh and my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so can you guys see the, can you see that in camera? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna <laughs> put the slime on our face and see, is it worth $180? I think it was 100, Kate thinks it was 180. I don't know, it's still <laughs> a lot of money. So, let's see. Do we see the gold chunks on my skin? Oh, you do, look. Oh, it's like glitter. Does it dissipate? I don't know. But it really honestly feels like a slime. Really? Is it tacky? Yeah, like like it's just like... Like... Look, try, feel. Like... Mm. Like it's just... Like boogers. <laughs> like boogers? <laughs> That's not a, a good advertisement for that. <laughs> Karen says sticky? What do you think? Uh, sticky. I know. Isn't it gross? Looking? It looks like glue. Right? 
Is it sticky though? It's tacky. It is. AAVV says, you are so funny and breathtakingly honest. Thanks. Oh, thank you. I think if the company was watching it, they would be like, it doesn't look like snot. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's just a little snotty. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. But you know what, guys? It honestly feels great on the skin. But it feels, but it is like that slime. Have you ever made slime with your kids? <laughs> it's on the rage right now, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> okay, so let's see how much... How much uh, glitter it actually, or not glitter, gold flake. So it didn't say that it had real gold in it? It didn't. On the side where the ingredients, it doesn't say like 24 karat gold or anything? Mm mm. It says the 24K gold foil moisturizing cream. Interesting. You guys let me know if you want me to do a, like a few week, like a review on this over the next few weeks. You know, I don't know. 24 karat gold foil moisturizing cream at $180. Oh. Let's see here. 24 karat magic in the air. Oh, it has uh, castor oil. Okay. It has a bunch of stuff I have no idea about. Honest. Oh, no. Ingredients. Top three ingredients would be first, water. AAVV says, please review the gold cream. Okay. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to do it, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this. First ingredient, water. Second ingredient, glycerin. Third ingredient, gold. It says gold. It just says gold? But if it says gold, what does that mean? Because don't, if it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> if it's real gold, don't they have to put like 10 carat or or 24 carat, mm -hmm. but they just put gold. It says 24 carat on the box. Right, but but the ingredient says gold. Interesting. Amanda says, can you please do a review of the gold cream? Ooh, people want to see the expensive gold cream. Okay, you know what, guys? This is going to be my, ne my next test. I'm going to test it over a few weeks. Let you guys know whether it's worth a hundred and whatever dollars. <laughs> 24 carat magic in the air. <laughs> <laughs> okay oh my bad let's focus something on the under eye area what are we going to do with the other eye area let's see Kay what do we got here should we try something new or should we try something what is this this is an eye serum by Dr. Dennis Gross uh for lick for Ulick and retinol for Ulick am I saying that right for Ulick Ferulic, yeah. Ferulic retinol triple correction eye serum. All right, well, let's just do some eye serum. You know what? I'm actually gonna do um, the battle of the eye serums very soon. I'm, I'm those videos are coming out pretty soon. Like the battle of the eye serum. Uh, the ba I'm gonna do the battle of the eye serum, but I already recorded the battle of the moisturizer and the battle of the cleansers. So those videos will be coming out soon. Why does everything look like <laughs> snot today? <laughs> Can we just see, like, it just, like, like, everything just looks like snot. Let me put a background. Can you guys see the snot? Can you see it? Mm-hmm. Like, what is up with that? Like, boogers. Okay. It kept its shape. Right? It doesn't smell like anything. Okay, let's see what this feels like on the skin. Does this have, like... Oh, no, it just has, like, little air. A-A-V-V -V says snot sit tay. Right? So, Nate, so we're just playing in snot today, okay? <laughs> we put snot on our face. We're going to put snot on our eyes. <laughs> Anybody else have any boogers? Oh, <laughs> can you tell we have kids? You can tell we have kids. <laughs> okay, so it feels actually really nice on the eyes. It almost has, like, a cooling effect on the eyes. Maybe it's because you derma rolled. But I didn't do it right here. Oh. And it's like cooling. But it is really nice. I will say that. Here, try. Put some on your eye. Tell me if it's oh my cool. My eye? Yeah, it's just. Is it cool? Or is it just me? It is. Right? You want the rest of it? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A little tip in case you guys didn't know if you get too much eye serum on your hand, rub it into the back of your hand. 
like this, you know, rub them both together or put it on your lips. AAVV says tonight's theme, mucus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody's dealing with the cold, so we might as well talk about <laughs> mucus. <laughs> My husband said, uh, like, all, he was like the coronavirus that's going around right now. He was like, why do they have to name it after a Mexican beer? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I never thought about it that way, honey. I don't know. Free advertisement? No, I mean, <laughs> I know that thing. Alcohol will kill you. <laughs> Corona will kill you too. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I shouldn't be joking about that. Okay, just erase that from your memory. I didn't say that. I'm not offending anybody. I don't wish no bad upon anybody. But really, why do they have to name it after a beer? <laughs> okay, so, hot flash. Okay. It's just, oh, and then when you do this on it, it kind of gets cold. That feels good. <laughs> I bet you this is one that actually works very, very well. Okay, so what do we have on our skin? We have our moisturizers, and you know what? We're all back backwards today because I was technically supposed to put a serum on <laughs> and the moisturizer, and I was supposed to take off my eyelashes and then take off my makeup and today we're just working completely backwards and opposite. Okay, so we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> we need to find a serum now for our skin. Okay, so serums, let's find a serum. Okay, which one are, that's a moisturizer. This is a nighttime gel cream. We need serum. Ooh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. This is by, ooh, that's what's in the box. I forgot. This is good uh, molecules. Oh, I have a hard time reading today. <laughs> Niacinamide died. No, no, no. Let me try it again. Okay, I'm just going to have Kay read it. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know where my brain is. Niacinamide. <laughs> <laughs> okay, obviously, we don't know how to read. We don't know how to get unready. <laughs> We're just going to roll with it. Niacinamide. 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 <laughs> Serum actually penetrates, okay, this is a formula with 10% niacinamide <laughs> to <laughs> refine skin and minimize pores. So this sucker here by Good Molecules, just the niacinamide alone is a huge anti-aging um, serum. Most, honestly, most, um, most serums that have this in it are quite expensive. The direction says apply a small amount to your face in the morning and at night before moisturizers <laughs> and oils and creams. This sucker is a very powerful agent uh, with helping the signs of aging. So let's go ahead and just kind of put it all over. But the other one that's like this, let me just show you guys. So this here is... Uh, is a uh, overnight exfoliant treatment. This is a different one. This is a formulated with 10% AHA, which is alpha hydroxy acid and BHA, which is beta hydroxy acid, I don't forgot, uh, to resurface and renew. So this sucker here, you can only use a few times a week because this is even more powerful. This actually resurfaces your skin. You know, very, very powerful. If you have sensitive skin, you cannot use it three times a week. But just wanted to, I don't know why I'm getting off topic. Oh, I picked out those ones because that's where I got the PR package from. I see a PR package. A, oh, mother frigger, my skin's burning. Oh, it burns. <laughs> what is wrong with me today? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Like all those little holes I just poked in my face. I don't know if I should have put that on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> blood flow, blood flow. Maybe the slapping will numb it. Maybe I should just get some cold ice. Shit, my ice machine's not working. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Where's my jade roller? Maybe the cold stone. Is it there? No, it's in no. the... No. Uh. <laughs> bathroom? Yeah. Let's just, so certain, certain serums you should put on your skin after you, uh, after you roll, after you do the derma roller, the, 
yeah, the Derma Roller, this is nice because this is nice and cold, cold. Certain serums because you don't want to have irritation like what I just did. But this is nice and cold. And if you guys don't know, this is a Jade Roller. This Jade Roller, if you stick it in the freezer, in the fridge, is amazing on the skin and then under the eyes. So that was just like, they don't burn for like a few seconds. So the reason I uh, I was doing the Good Molecules is because they sent me a PR pack. So here it is, got in the mail yesterday. Let's open it up so you guys can see. Why wait? <sighs> tired of waiting to see your, tired of waiting to see your skincare work? Here's our two latest releases, each filled with ingredients to deliver quick results. Let's start with the Clarifying and Cleanse Bar, eight bucks. This soap-free formula doesn't strip essential moisture from your skin. It also helps clear skin and prevent blemishes. It is made with salicylic acid, tea tree oil, kaolin clay, rosehip, and grapeseed oil, to name a few. It works on the face or body for all skin types. Even if you don't suffer from breakouts, it is great to exfoliate pores. Second is our Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel Patches, $18 for 16 patches. These are my favorite to reduce the appearance of puffy, tired-looking eyes. They deliver caffeine, niacinamide, and D. <laughs> See, I told you the same ingredient. Oh, well, maybe I shouldn't put them on because I already had that reaction putting the niacinamide on my skin. So I was going to put it on, but I'm not putting it on. Okay, let's just look what these look like. As Kate reads. You broke it. Oh, no. What the heck is wrong with me today? Ugh. Okay. To be continued. And deep hydration to the under eye area. They'll keep you looking fresh. Makeup artists use the pa patches to prep skin before makeup. I use them in the morning and after long flights. They also help with puffy eyes from allergies or a cold. Both products are vegan, fragrance free, and never tested on animals. Let me know how you like these two. Hashtag good molecules. It Enjoy. looks like boogers. Look at this. <laughs> Why is everything that we're grabbing today look like boogers? Look at that. Like it looks like a like a loogie. Look at that. Doesn't that? Uh, and it's pretty thick. So we will test those out on a different day. But look. Oh my gosh. We're right? really sticking to our theme. We are really, we're going full in booger today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like. Gosh, and we weren't even expecting to film like a booger video. I know. <laughs> I'm just gonna go on chew show my skin. In. <laughs> okay, it's not as gross as what they said in our last video when you guys were commenting how to get rid of acne and somebody suggested taking your your cycle and using it on your skin. Just all that's all I'm saying, okay? <laughs> I didn't recommend it. I never would. <laughs> but I would rather talk about boogers instead of cycles. <laughs> so that's this that I got in PR. We are going to be trying these suckers out later. I kind of like that it's a bar of soap. Mm -hmm. You know. Is it cleanser? Yeah, that's the cleanser that you were reading about. Oh. But it's see, and it's supposed to help with acne. So maybe I'll test it on Zoomy too because she has acne. So I think did we finish? Did we finish? Did we finish? I don't think we have anything else to go, do we? We did that, we did that. No. Have any last words? Any, 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 anything? I think we're good. Any questions? Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about Botox? Botox. I feel like you can avoid Botox if you derma roll. <laughs> I think that if I do this constantly, that I can reduce these wrinkles up here between my eyes as well. So, and did you know if you Botox, you actually stop producing uh, natural um, collagen to your skin? Oh, really? Yeah, so it's like they numb the muscle and your forehead looks fantastic, but after it wears off, if you've done it for so, so long, like your skin is not gonna be the same ever because you've lost a lot of the collagen, which was going to make the skin like, I don't know, saggy or squishy, mm -hmm. uh, you know. So that's why I would suggest not doing Botox. Mm -hmm. Have you ever considered 
um, plastic surgery? Yeah, I wanted at one time. Did you press the derma roller on hard enough to make your skin bleed lightly, says Karen. No, I did not. No, 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 no. I'm not at that level yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, but just the, like, the tiny little needle that this one is. Look, so I can run my finger on it, and I can push my finger pretty hard, right? Tell me if you were going to be able to see this on camera, the indentions mm -hmm. in my finger. Mm-hmm. Just this tiny little needle is enough to help my skin absorb the moisture that it needs to. So that needle that she's talking about is the bigger needle. Mm -hmm. And I'm just not ready for that yet because I don't know. Mom said she could see it. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I'm just not ready for that yet. Maybe when I build up my tolerance because I've already gone up point five. Yeah. So point one five something like that i've gone up a point not a point point zero i don't know anyways i've gone up in <laughs> size <laughs> but um this will help you actually um your skin absorb that so those serums full of collagen and um i lost track i don't know what the, uh, we're, we're just like off base today she says, so you go small needles, then go bigger after? Yes, yes. I think you should never start with a, a big needle because you're gonna, it's gonna be too excruciating. It's gonna be a severe, it's gonna be a traumatic experience and you're not gonna do it. So if you start little, just with the, the one that helps you absor absorb serums uh, and then go bigger from there, I think I would recommend that. But not all needles are actual real needles. You have to look at under a like a piece of glass, magnifying glass or something, make sure that it comes to a very, very sharp point. So when Jen Amber sent me her derma roller, uh, I knew it was like the best quality. Hmm. So mom says, what about Orgel to numb your skin? Oh. No, that's actually smart. I would think so. So if I wash, if I Orgel my face, well, and if, it's, if I Orgel certain areas like my lips right and then I washed all this off my lip would like I washed my skin and then I toned mm -hmm. my lip would still be numb right or would it not when you remove the orange gel if your skin is still numb I think it would be amazing but you can't do the orange gel then derma roll on top of it that, mm, that, yeah. that would be horrible mm -hmm. but if it left the skin numb it's almost like they use orange gel in threading as well she says, or numb with ice cubes. I feel like it would wear off really quick. Yeah. And I also feel like if you use the orange gel to numb your skin uh, and then you derma rolled, you would derma roll a little too much. That's true. That's what I was thinking. And then afterwards, you're going to be feeling the pain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the sunburn. Yeah, but like an in, more intense because it's pretty intense. Like I'll, I'll be pretty red. And you know, you know what? One thing they don't tell you about derma rolling, you can't sweat. She says it might close the pores, though. What? The ice cubes. That's true. It would shrink. But would it's before. Before you derma roll. It would, it, would, it, it would make your pores tighter. I don't know. I don't know. I would just think, like, if I iced my lip mm -hmm. and then I derma rolled, I would derma roll a lot more than I should. She says, instead of orange gel, use ice cubes. Maybe, 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 maybe. Does it hurt enough for you to feel like you need to numb it? Yeah, it, hurt. it can hurt. It up here is the most sensitive. So if you numbed it, mm -hmm. but then you feel the pain like afterwards and more the next day. If you sweat that salt, you start producing that salt. It's like putting salt on a cut. So you feel that, mm, yeah. So, yup. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we are done with our live streaming. It has already been an hour. We are sorry that we just talked about snot and boogers all, <laughs> all night long and that we were totally, completely not prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, like we normally are. Normally we're like step one, step two, step three. And today we're like step two. Oh, we forgot step one. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed our live stream. Please join us every Thursday at 6 p.m. Um, 
And thank you so much for watching. I'm Christina Marie, and this is Kay, and we're out. Bye.